All right, great. Now, let's start. So, I think your screen is stuck. Probably is it frozen? So let's stop sharing and share again. Is it loading? Yes, good. Yes, now I see. Okay. All right. So we have started by Berkeley's last session, right? We saw democracy in Athens and Berkeley's is uh, yeah. uh, ocean and Athens justice. So let's revise quickly what we have already studied. Okay. So we stopped at the Greek war with Georgia and we said that uh, now uh, after Xerox, uh, Darius' son felt insolent by Athens' acts by sending the, the Ionians some fleets and some ships. So he sent all of his troops in order to conquer all of uh, the Greek city states. In uh, this act, uh, he first stopped here at Sparta. He, they, they came here and from that uh, they started the Battle of the 300, and unfortunately, after several days, all of the 300 uh, were uh, killed, and later, all of the city states of Athens and Sparta, Macedonia, Thebes, all of these city states joined forces together in order to face the danger. And finally, they uh, could uh, win the war against the Persia. After the war, after the war with Bergia, the Delian League was formed. Okay, so first the war between the Persian Empire and the Greek city states happened, and later the Delian League took place. At the Delian League, we have Athens emerged as the most powerful city state in Greece, and by that act, the Athenian people were very uh, unfortunately stupid at uh, that act because they tried to take control of uh, the whole of the league. By doing so, they started to make alliance with other uh, city states and also started to spread uh, their territories and their Athenian empire. In that act also, they moved uh, the treasury from uh, the island of uh, Delos uh, into Athens uh, and they used the money from the league in order to rebuild their city state. Athens. Okay, so they did something very selfish. All that they did was only for the glory of Athens. And of course, a league they is. They don't care about the rest of the Greek city states. Exactly. They just care about themselves. And exactly. And that was the stupid move that they did. Okay. So just put this. And for your mind, now the Athenian people only cared about themselves and their city state. Okay, in that act, we have a man called Pericles. Pericles, we said that he was like Solon, also of Athens. Pericles, he was a leader, he was a reformer, and he started to do something good to the country. One of the best things that he have introduced to the Athenian people was the Council of 500, and by that, he introduced some new sort of democracy of the city or for the Athenian people because Pericles now made all the people take part in the day-to-day -day activities and affairs of the government and by doing so now they have uh, went out of the monarchy and the aristocracy system and now they are in the third type of the government which is the oligarchy presenting a new form of democracy and that form of democracy, to their own standards, was uh, the best in the world. But uh, for our standards, it was still a limited uh, one. I believe that's where we stopped yesterday, right? Uh, we uh, st end at the end of the page number 139. So we finished the, the democracy in Athens at the era of Pericles. And we yeah, said yeah. that the era of Pericles, yes. And the era of I don't really understand how a concept of 500 really works. Like, uh, I don't get it. 
video. Okay, so simply we say that, uh, let's imagine. All my three right now, we are the city of Athens. And the council of 500 includes everyone in 93. All right, and now we need to go to a trip. So if it's a monarchy, okay, the first form of government, I'll say we're going to Namar Valley. If it's aristocracy, only three from you can choose another place. Let's say, for example, Thumama. But by the council of 500, all of us now must vote for the place where we can go for a trip in. Okay? So the council of 500 included 500 person daily going to... So they are always together? Always they to vote. So they are so always together? Yeah, always together must vote for the new rules, what is to be done, where the money of the state must be put, how many ships does the fleet need, uh, do we have armors, do we need swords, so all of the 500 person and that council must vote for the things of the city state itself. Okay? Yes, okay. All right, our place is uh, funeral oration. Okay, can you read Ibrahim? Yes, sure. <clears throat> Taste with this. Uh, very celest for uh, funeral oration. Thesidus, a hist historian who lived in the age of Paris, 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 Okay, recorded a, spa a speech given by Persilis at the, at the funeral of Athens, slain in battle. In this famous funeral oration or speech, uh, Persilis praised the Athen from a form of government. He pointed out that the Athen, Athen city, citizens bore a special responsibility to take an interest in public affairs. In this speech, Persilis described essential values and beliefs of the Athenians included equality of citizens before the law, the responsibility of citizens and, and several to, uh, to the state. So, simply after the war with the Persian people, Pericles himself started to give a speech. This is speech to inspire the people and tell them about the heroic actions of those who have died and gave their lives in order to save Athens and vice versa and consequently he started speaking and speaking until he reached it to a very important point which is introducing to those people the importance of the Athenian citizens. He pointed out that Athenian citizens or a special responsibility. That special responsibility is to take an interest in the public affairs, meaning that the special responsibility is speaking about is uh, we must all of us uh, contribute in uh, the public affair. What public affair are you speaking about? Uh, which is uh, the council of uh, the 500. Okay, so all of us right now, we must contribute in uh, the public affairs of our own city state. Uh, consequently, we must all take care or take part in the council of 500 in order to run the day-to-day -day affairs of our government uh, and that uh, the Athenian people not like any other people see the ego once again uh, okay seeing that uh, they are superior to other city-states uh, they uh, he told them that uh, all of us all the Athenian people all the citizens of Athens uh, are equal before the law so in the eye of the law all of us are one there is no superiority for uh, a prince uh, to a peasant. All of us in front of the law, all of us are equal. And there is some, uh, something that not any city state has or obtains nowadays. And also, we must all serve the state. This is a very bad line. All of us must serve the state. So, our state. Must serve. Yes? Uh, can you? Uh, I don't understand this, the first thing. P Pericles funeral oration. Okay, oration means a speech. Okay. Uh, what means speech, teacher? Speech, speech, like speaking, like how I'm speaking, speaking to you right now. Okay. Okay. So, after the war with Persia, okay, there was funeral. There was 
soldiers have died and these soldiers must be buried right uh, Nawaf? yeah what do you mean buried teacher uh, to dig in the ground and put uh -huh. them or yeah. long ago some nations burned their part and still uh, this action is being the practice of the Asian, India and China. So, at that funeral, all right, Pericles as the leader of Athens, okay, he's the leader right now. So he gave a speech. He spoke to the people, and while speaking, of course, he has mentioned the heroic action uh, of uh, those who have already passed away or uh, gave uh, their life for Athens. And later, he started to speak uh, to the people about uh, their own. Uh, affairs right now that all of us as athenian we pour very special responsibility that responsibility is towards our nation like for example saudi arabian people have responsibility towards saudi arabia right yes so athenians have responsibility towards athens Okay, so he spoke to them about that point, presenting the special responsibility that the Athenian people poured to, toward their own public affairs, public affairs and the city state of Athens. And that have no worries, guys. Everyone, I'm speaking to you from head to toe, from a noble family until a peasant farmer. All of us are equal before the law. So, in the eye of the law, all of us are equal and we all must serve our state, okay? All right, now what? Just it's a very interesting speech. Yeah. That's nice. What about the Athenian justice? Abdurrahman? Abdurrahman is still with us? No, he died. Uh, can I read it yet? Okay, yeah. Okay. Athenian justice. Among the responsibilities of Athenian citizens who are serving on juries. A jury is a group of people who have the authority to make a decision in a legal case. Unlike modern American trial jury, which usually has 12 members, an Athenian jury might include as many as 500 or more jurors. Citizens over 30 years of age were chosen by, by lot to serve on the jury for a year. Effectively, Athenian citizens were tried by, a, tried by a jury of their peers. A basic legal principle echoed in England, Magana Carta, the U.S. Sixth Amendment, and in American jury trials today. Also, the fundamental legal concept of rule of law, rule of law all, all must obey the laws, and innocent until proven guilty were substantially um, um, what did you? Substantially embodied in the laws of Athens and Sparta. Athenian citizens could also vote to banish or send away a public figure whom they saw as a threat to their democracy. This process was called ostracism. The person with the largest number of votes cast against him was ostracized, meaning that individual would have to live outside the city usually for a period of 10 years. All right, that's a great. So, speaking about the Athenian justice and how the Athenian people treated the, the people themselves in the eyes of the law. So, first of all, we must know that Athens was the first city in the history to introduce a jury. Okay, a jury is a group of people who have the authority to make a decision in a legal case. A legal case meaning that inside the court. Okay. So, inside the court, we have a jury. That jury are a group of people who give their opinion whether someone is guilty or innocent. Okay? And this act is being practiced nowadays in modern America. 
but of course it is totally different because that act in modern America only a jury of 12 members yet back then in Athens we still have 500 or more jurors meaning that 500 members could say their own speech or their own opinion inside a court that was in Athens so in America 12 members in Athens 500 so far so good yes all right good. Uh, point that that said, oh, what Alan? like they have 500 jurors who can like you know have the authority to we have the council of 500 yeah but that's too much this council was yeah it, very too much but this council uh, was doing what taking care mm. of the day-to-day -day affairs of the Athenian oh, government okay. okay including those day-to-day -day affairs was uh, the court okay if there anyone who's uh, guilty or uh, someone raised the case another another person against another one so the council of 500 with his 500 member will act like jurors okay in a jury and all of them must decide whether this person is guilty or not nowadays okay in those days nowadays in america we have also a jury in any court you must find a jury and this jury is from common people they are not officials not governmental officials they are common people okay like uh, uh, someone from the street of uh, this uh, person, the invicted one, uh, the mayor, uh, some figure, okay, uh, uh, an artist, okay, 12, 12 member must be included into a jury. But of course, all of them must be, you know, or must know the uh, infected person. But in Athens, 500 uh, person contributed in that act. All right, the next point is about uh, the citizens over 30 years old. All the citizens over 30 years old were chosen by lot to serve in the jury for just one year. So everyone must serve for at least a year in the jury to present his own thoughts and ideas about whether someone is guilty or innocent. And actually, the Athenian people, they tried very, very, very much uh, new modern uh, methods in their own uh, justice and nowadays we are uh, pursuing their same principles and of course uh, modifying on them like what's happening right now in america and also in england both of them are borrowing from the ancient athenian government and the act that still perhaps today in even our own Arabic countries is that some principles like innocent until proven guilty innocent until proven guilty okay and all of us are all must obey the laws okay so there is no superiority for anyone against any other one in the eyes of the law and all those who are convicted all of them are innocent until proven guilty okay all of them innocent until proven guilty we still practice this act now a date another act of their rule and their justice was something that is called ostracism 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 means punishing someone outside the city state of Athens, and this happened only by voting if people voted that this person uh, must be punished outside of uh, our uh, country then they will punish him outside uh, Athens for a period not less than 10 years and actually the action of ostracism uh, itself was practiced in our, our country uh, for the last century during the past century it was still practiced in our own countries and actually nowadays some people are ostracized outside saudi arabia they are banned from entering saudi arabia and what happened, uh, 
uh, like for example, if you did something wrong to your country now, if your country will punish you outside of Saudi Arabia, and you will not be allowed to enter Saudi Arabia once again. That's ostracism. Okay. All right. And of course, uh, having said all of that, uh, we come to the Athenian culture. Of course, the culture must uh, thrive at that uh, period. Once you have justice, once you have somebody taking care of your own uh, affairs and responsibilities, uh, consequently, your uh, art and culture will thrive. Athens uh, pro uh, prospered during the age of uh, Pericles with the empire's riches, Pericles directed the rebuilding of the Acropolis, that important point, which the Persian had destroyed, of course, with the help of an educated foreign born woman named Aspasia. Aspasia. Okay, Parkles turned Athens into a cultural central, so with the help of Aspasia, Parkles turned Athens into a, a cultural center of Greece. Okay, that's an important point also. With his, with him, with help, with Aspasia, Pier, yeah, a woman, Pier, yeah. Yeah. She's Pier, a woman. Yes. That's yeah. how the Pericles, in order to take care of uh, the city state of Athens and turn it into a cultural uh, center of Greece people. They encouraged the arts through our public festivals. Uh, Dramatic competitions and building, etc. So we just need this with the help of Spasia, Berkeley's turn it, it into a center, cultural center for Greeks. Okay. No way, uh, teacher, your monitor is, or your, your screen share is frozen, so I cannot see what you're underlining. Stitch from fifteen minutes. Okay. Now it's good. Yeah, but can you zoom out so I can see the whole page? What I missed out. Like the things that I did not enter or highlighted. I'll upload that to Flasera because of the time. Okay, I'll uh, do that later. Alright, jumping to the most important point in today's session. And here we come to counter a shift in the whole lesson. All right, so okay, shall we delete uh, the preparation no, 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 or? No, do not delete it. I made it wrong. I'm sorry. How can I undo that? Make eraser, teacher, maybe. No, wait. It's not working. What's working here was not working here. All right, so anyway, we we'll speak about the Peloponnesian War. That's very bad. Very important point is the Peloponnesian War. Okay, so to speak about the Peloponnesian War, now, after the Persian War, why would another war uh, be evoked between the city states of uh, Athens. We have just finished uh, fighting with the Persian. Why would another war emerge? Okay, to speak about that, uh, we just need uh, to figure out one thing. After the Italian League, we need to put the Italian League in our mind. Okay, Italian League in that. The Athens took control of other city states and started to do two things. Number one, expanding its own territory. Number two, stealing the money and using it for its own profits. Okay? 
Wait, who steals from who? So the Delian League was between the city states of early Greek civilization. Yeah. And okay. as the, the most powerful city right now had started to take control of the, the other city states' money and used the money to rebuild its own city state. Okay. Okay. So you use the money to build its own city state. Having done that, what do you think would happen by doing so? Teacher, your that is thing frozen. just ruins the whole Greek city or the Greek civilizations. They should like unite. Or the Athenians should just like take every city state and say you belong to me now. Okay, that's under my control. Cool. That's very, very nice. So, right now, after having fighting the Persian, now the city states of early Greek for the first time joined forces together in order to face uh, that common enemy. And after defeating him, now you should have uh, been doing what? Collaborating together for a better future. Yet, for the stupidity of the Athenian people, they tried uh, to expand their territories over other city states of the early Greek civilization. And by doing so, who will stop in their uh, face? Who will try to stop them? Who is the most uh, powerful city state in Athens? Uh, in uh, Greek? It was the Athenians. The Athenians were the best. The Athenians. And? And Sparta. 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 Because of their uh, soldiers. So, exactly. So, by doing so, what would happen? The Spartan, of course, uh, refused that man you're making a league and you are including me in that league and then you are trying to over capture city states of uh, greek and also stealing my money to build your own city are you stupid you think that we are stupid of course we're not gonna do that because we as spartans we are we are the most important and the most strong and the strongest soldiers in the Greek civilization. Consequently, we will not approve that. By doing so, the Spartans made another league, and that league was the Peloponnesian League. So now we have two leagues. The first one is the Delian League, and the second one was the Peloponnesian League. The Delian League was made first after the Persian War. So that all Greek city states can stand together. Unfortunately, Athens used the league in a very bad way for its own uh, profits. So the Spartan people refused that and they made another league with other city states of Greek called the Peloponnesian League. And this league will stand and counterize the Delian League. And because of this, uh, war will emerge one time again between Athens and those city states standing by it in the Delian League and Sparta and the other city states alliance to it in the Peloponnesian League. And this war will continue for 27 years and will bring all of the Greek city states with it. Yes, no. I understand that the day before was all in our league Athens yes. and Sparta and other and Athens want to steal everything exactly then uh, Sparta and other uh, Greek city states make a people in league and want yeah. to defeat the Athens that's it thank you that's... okay by doing so now what will happen between the Athenian people and the Spartan people whom do you think will win Sparta. or Sparta Sparta. Of course, Sparta would. Why? Because they only. Because only they are smarter and they have better soldiers. Bravo. But do not forget one thing. Okay? Let's just go here. And let's make the plank like this. And make this. Okay, that's a Sparta. Okay? Um, I think your uh, screen sharing is a uh, uh, frozen screen. Come on, guys, do not break my heart. What's going on today? Uh, 
Can't see it. No, it's still. Oh yes, I can Just... see now. Okay, that's Sparta. And here that's Athens. Okay. Mention the place. Okay. No, let's zoom in. So, if we take a screenshot like this and zoom it here quickly. All right. Here, what do we have here in front of us? So, mention my speech. That's Sparta. Where is it? Your mouse is stop. Your the mouse. When the mouse is stop. What is the meaning of that? The mouse is stop. This the small arrow is stop at Astros. Now. Yes, now good. All right, so that's the city state of Sparta. Where is it? In land or by the sea? In the land, teacher. In the land? Yes. And Athens, here. Where is Athens? Behind the sea. Yeah, by the sea, right? So mention that Athens because they have access to the sea. They have strong fleet. Strong fleet meaning strong ships. But Sparta has soldiers. Right? So, fleet, what do you mean, teacher? Fleet like ships. Okay. The Navy. So, we have strong fleet and the opposite to the soldiers. Who will win? Huh? The soldier. Why? No, the Athens, because they have a strong fleet and ships. Okay, probably. So, Athens have a stronger fleet and ships, but there is something very strange about that fleet. If the fleet came here and stopped here by the water, they will not reach Sparta. If they came here, they will not reach Sparta. If they came here, they will not reach Sparta, because Sparta is inland. But, on the other hand, once the Spartan soldier, they just need to move north and then they will reach Athens and by doing so the soldiers of Sparta will have the upper hand in that war because Athens is totally dependent upon its fleet yet Sparta is totally dependent upon the soldier okay got the idea yes teacher but who the who won of course Sparta will win and you will know that just imagine if I'm having strong ships and I'm coming to destroy you in Riyadh. So will I be able to destroy you with my ships? No, no of course. You can course conquer not. some cities. You can conquer yeah. like Mecca and Jesus. Yeah, I can conquer some uh, cities and we will speak about that more. But mention this. Will I be able to conquer Riyadh with my navy? No, you with can't conquer the capital. No, I can conquer the map. I can conquer Jephthah. How will you <laughs> how will you reach Riyadh with the ships? Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. You will not. not okay, win. so because Sparta has a fleet, yet they cannot reach Sparta and have the fleet, but they cannot reach Sparta. Okay? And that's gonna be it for today.